After school today, more than 15 million kids across the country will take care mm -hmm. of themselves. About half that many kids will participate in an after school program. It's not always because of willingness, but access. Gwen Williams provides opportunities locally through Collective for Youth. And John Brady uh, joins us from Bellevue's Gilder Elementary School. Nice to have and you. And we've got a special performance ahead. Indeed, we we've got four kids standing by. Can't wait. Our kids uh, have, uh, our oldest kid participated in an after school program and they're important. Why are these so important, um, not only nationally but locally here? Oh, well, locally, you know the hours between three and six are so crucial. So a lot of parents in this economy work two jobs, so both parents work jobs. And so when the kids are coming home after school, it's better for them to stay at school and have a safe place, have a warm meal, than go home to an empty home. I would come home. I remember that coming after, after especially, mm -hmm. especially elementary school, coming home or middle school. Coming home, I'd be home by 3 o'clock and I'd have two, three hours to kill by myself. Good job, right? Yeah, just Most kids aren't around, doing homework trouble. Right. during that time. They are not. How are your programs different from others our viewers might know about? Um, well, our programs are structured. Um, so enrichment based. So they do a little homework time, they have uh, clubs, they have um, providers that come in, they do activities and they go on field trips. Mm -hmm. They do lots of fun stuff. It keeps them engaged in school. We do a lot of project based stuff. So it's hands on. So we use a lot of STEM, which is the science, technology, engineering and Huge. math programs. Yeah. So and they love those. And so they do um, Lego robotics at, you know, at certain schools. Wow. So they have a lot of stuff that they can do and a lot of stuff that they can choose from. You're not just keeping them busy and out of trouble. No. <laughs> no, this is about not. growth. This is about growth. Yeah. It is about learning, but in a fun way. Yeah, and community providers. I mean, you think that's essential uh, around is. the area. Yeah. Absolutely, it's essential. So, therefore, the kids get to see op or have opportunities that they wouldn't have anyplace else. So, by the community providers coming in, they get to do theater, they get to do art, they get to do music. And so, it's really fun for them. Mm -hmm. And some of our providers are really great with the kids and have lasting relationships. Right, with who the would kids. you consider a community provider? I mean, who, who are you talking about here? Um, um, well, some of our community providers are like um, Bridget St. Bridget, the Rose Theater, mm -hmm. oh, sure, sure. Y Arts. And the and kids who are here, I know, performed at Bridget St. Absolutely. Bridget, so Absolutely. that makes sense. John, to your school and the types of programs you offer there, and, yes, and what do the kids get out of it there? Uh, they get all kinds of stuff out of it. You know, a lot of these kids would never get exposed to this stuff if I didn't bring it in for them. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, Bridget, St. Bridget, uh, would they ever learn about Shakespeare at this age as, as third graders as I brought today? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Um, so this is an opportunity to learn from an Academy Award winning actress uh, to get a chance to just see what it's like. Uh, we also have all kinds of providers, from Lego Robotics, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. um, but today we have Shakespeare, right? Today we have Shakespeare. We're going to see a little taste. We're going to get a little taste of that. Set it up yeah. for us. Yeah. So um, this is a little play, a little part from Bottom's Dream. Mm -hmm. um, kids are third graders, um, and they're excited, yeah. a little nervous, but I think they're ready. Their names are Sophie, Luis, Danya, and Charlie. Take it away. From a Midnight Summer Dream, by William Shakespeare. Ill match by moonlight, proud Titania. What? Jealous Oberon? Fairies, skipettes. Terry Rash, wanton, and not I fi lord. Then I must be thy lady. Do you medicine? It lies in you. But I do but beg a little change of boy to be my henchman. Set your heart at rest. I will not part with him. Give me that boy. Not for thy fairy kingdom. Fairies, away. Well, go thy way, thou shalt not from this grow till I torment thee for this injury. Bum, bum, bum. You spotted snakes with double tongue. Thorny hedgehogs be not seen. Nuts and blind worms do no wrong. Come not near our fairy queen. Nightingale with melody, singing our sweet lullaby. La 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 They weren't nervous. They killed that. Thank you, guys. I thought you said they were nervous. And they can't get enough. No, lights and cameras. Great. I want to get back to you because you got this special celebration plan this month, right? Talk about that. Yeah. We next this coming Saturday we have lights on. It is an event to shine the light on after school programs and the importance of them, and just making sure that everybody is aware of after school programs and what they really can bring to the community and the and the youth that participate. Is there a cost? 
No. Lights on. Lights on is yeah. free. So and it's 10 to 2. You see the information there. Yeah. Um, UNOSAP Fieldhouse, of course, 60th and Dodge. And then for our viewers who would like to get involved, maybe they, they see what John is doing in Bellevue and they feel like they want to do something at their child's school, what should they do? What do you recommend? Um, I recommend them finding their site director if they have an after school program there and then mm -hmm. working with them and then getting involved. We have a lot of parents who do volunteer. They go help with the field trips and they get involved with the program and then they support the kids. Mm -hmm. So we have 29 different programs um, throughout OPS and so you can really volunteer just about any where your heart's content mm. and we do love volunteers. As we take a look at some of the information for Collective for Youth, I want to ask John, how long did it take to get these third <laughs> graders up to speed on that Shakespeare? Yeah. Eight weeks. Eight weeks? Oh. Eight weeks, one hour sessions. That's no amazing. kidding. Was they it memorize? hard to get them to buy in? <clears throat> it is. It's sometimes it's convincing the kids to try something new because that's the hardest thing for kids is trying something they've never seen mm -hmm. or never done before. Yeah. Um, and so once you get in it, they start to feel it out. Some kids are great at it, some kids are all right. but. Some kids are amazing like these young young boys and girls and oh. they just roll right to, into it. Adds to their experience. Natural abilities. Yeah. You're really good. Thank you all for coming today. Thank John, you. it's Thanks, nice guys. to meet Thank you. you Gwen, great Thank to you have you here as well. Thank you.